so grateful to be here. I feel like it's, it's such a gift. I think about what I can create from all this. My expectations were from meeting Teddy. I was thinking it's gonna be really neat to meet someone that's been doing this their whole life too, in that completely different setting. It's great to see you, Teddy, again. And this is Thank John you. Marston, Teddy Belangu. Welcome home. Nice to meet you, Teddy. Hello. Fine. Come a long Fine. way. <laughs> Fine. Long journey. Thank you. <laughs> ah. <laughs> soft enough? Soft enough? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's nice. When I was first arriving, I was trying to think of the kind of wood that I would like to work with. I thought I might have my choice, but it doesn't seem that way because, as you can see, there's so much flooding. So, uh, but when I got here, Teddy had a piece of wood ready for me to carve, and it was uh, garamote, and it's a uh, really hard wood. wasn't too sure how, to, how it would work with my tools after watching him, so I just watched him for a little bit and uh, got used to how he was carving his piece. Today he lives a really different life to me. He still lives off the land, whereas I basically go to the grocery store and pick up everything I need and go home and work. His life revolves around day-to-day -day living. Everything's such hard work. Carving's hard work, living's hard work, and I'd really admire it. This is my very first time to uh, make a totem pole. My culture is different and whatever I'm going to make is different from this culture. And um, I've seen that um, the totem poles, they're um, quite different. I can see lots of um, figures that are uh, human figures, bird and frogs and um, more of the figures, they have tanks going down. Our ancestors, and even today, would tell stories through house posts or poles. So that's what uh, I wanted to do with this project was tell the story about the trip to New Guinea, what I went through personally, and trying to let that flow out through uh, my design work. And see where it takes me. I think uh, John, um, our relationship is, is my brother. Yeah, we are brothers right away, and you know, he was the first one to say it. You don't meet people like that all the time. 
just hits you in the heart when you do. It reminds you there are still beautiful people in this world. Well, should we look at your pool? You did two? Uh, yes, <laughs> I did two. <laughs> nice, to, nice and easy to carve? Yeah. Yes, very yeah. smooth. This totem pole I've given to the, to Canada. They can see that there's a sign of the uh, um, flag here. Yeah, right on. They can realize that uh, this is for uh, Canada. Made in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> It's the best time to display the totem poles out of the country. When I was in New Guinea, there was uh, one special moment that we had when um, Teddy Belengu asked us to name his grandson. I think that at that point, I had an idea of you know, the kind of character that Teddy really was. And um, I was thinking the whole time, what could I possibly do to show my appreciation for the time spent in their land and with their people. The idea of going to New Guinea and being at home is reflected on the panel where the sun and the moon are reversed on either side, which is representative of two cultures, worlds apart, but also so much the same in so many ways. When I was creating it, my thought came to what was the one outstanding thing that I could represent on the panel, and it was the people. It was everyone that was within the culture. This is what the masks on the inside of the suns and the moons represent. I didn't want it to be obvious that you could see exactly what the faces were. The meaning behind that was, if you don't take the time to really try and understand people, take the time to learn about their culture, then you really wouldn't get to see a lot of things in this world. <laughs> 